When creating a parenting plan, you need to be realistic about what are your abilities and what are the needs of your family. Hi, my name is Melissa Fikak, and I'm with South Jersey Divorce Solutions, where we practice in family law, mediation, and collaborative divorce. In my practice, many times I will have parents who will say to me, well, I want to have 50% parenting time because I want to make sure I get exactly what my other spouse or the other parent gets. Or they'll say, oh, I want to be the parent of primary residence because I'm the mother and I don't want to be looked poorly upon by my friends, neighbors, family members, and others. Or they may simply say, well, I want to have as much parenting time as possible because I don't want to have to pay child support. Those are not real reasons why you should be getting a certain parenting plan as opposed to another. You need to look at what is your work schedule like? What are the needs of your children? What is your ability to co-parent with the other parent? Where, where do you live in proximity to the child's school and their other activities? And you need to really think about these things in developing a parenting plan that's going to work best for your children. If you leave for work at 6 a.m. and you don't get home until 7 p.m. at night, it's not realistic to think that you're going to have a lot of parenting time during the work week. You may want to look at, is there an ability for you to work from home one or two days a week? So maybe you can have longer periods of time on the weekends, or maybe you have extended time. So you can make a parenting plan that's going to work for your children and for you. You also have to look at what do your children need? If your children are three and five, their needs are going to be very different than a 16 and a 17 year old. And that may, you know, again, be impacted by your work schedule. Also your ability to take them to different activities to not only school, but their extracurricular activities and, and things like that. So when you're thinking about a parenting plan, make sure you're really understanding what are the needs of your family and what is your ability to meet those needs? And even though you don't have a 50-50 parenting plan, doesn't make you a bad parent. It actually maybe makes you a better parent because you're cognizant of what does your children need and, and what is best for them. If you want to learn more information about how to develop a parenting plan that's going to work best for your family, I'd love to work with you. You can look at my website and we have a lot more videos and information, or you can contact us to schedule a consultation. Again, I'm Melissa Fikak with South Jersey Divorce Solutions.